Hey everybody, this week's episode of Suplex Cop from Behind the Bars, Good Behavior, colon, Play by the Rules, is brought to you by Lisa Mattresses, a sleep experience redesigned. The Lisa Mattress is redesigned from the inside out to give you the comfort, support, and universal feel. Everybody needs to sleep better. And take it from me, I've been taking hip tosses the last 20 years. I gave suplexes the last 20 years. You think abusing my power as a police officer means that I don't wake up in the middle of the night thinking about all the shit that I did now that I got this Lisa Mattress? I sleep soundly, and I don't think about any of the heinous shit I did throughout my legal uh, tenure career. All right, anyway, let's jump into the show. Uh, Today's episode is one of them episodes where I tell you about what I think about a match that you send me, and I have to say that y'all disappointed me, because after the 52nd time that I told you not to send me Kenny Okada versus the the other guy, I'm not watching that match anymore. I'm done with it. It fucking sucks. 48 minutes long, and you're telling me that he's going to kick out of a tombstone? Mm -mm, No, 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 no. That's not how you tell a story. So I went, and I went on YouTube, and I found a different uh, different thing. I'm not going to explain how I found a, a wrestling promotion that started with an area code. Do not think I was trying to call somebody when I was drunk. That's not what it was. I was I was looking on YouTube and I found this wrestling promotion called 203 BYW and after I did some research I found out that BYW stands for Backyard Wrestling. Now normally I would detest such an idea that kids get together in their backyard and beat each other up with trash cans. But this 203 didn't have no trash cans. No, they had they had some mats, some blue mats like you would find in the Olympics gymnastics and then they had it was uh, uh, barrels, like uh, like beer kegs, but there was no beer, and they weren't silver like a beer keg. They were blue, and and that's what they used. They made the best of a shitty situation. They had a little boat in the background to give it some ambiance, and it was great. Man, I thought I was going to hate it, but for 55 minutes and 38 seconds, I was entertained from start to finish. It was absolutely excellent. There was storytelling. There was this guy, his name... It was it was Toey Jornado or something like that, and he and he wanted to to be the champion, and he got the belt, and it was great, and, and you know I could ramble about it all day, but I brought on the uh, I believe the head booker of two o three B Y W. His name is Andrew Wright, except his name isn't spelled right, it's spelled with a W in front of it, so it's spelled wrong. So it's almost like Andrew wrong, but it's right. So Andrew, what's going on, my man? Uh, Suplex Scott, great to great to finally have this talk. Um, quick, quick note. My, my name is spelled correctly. It's like the Wright brothers, the guys who invented the, the airplanes uh, wow. and brought flight to the human race. Just like that. There's, it's, it's correct. I, I promise you. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. I didn't know nothing about these Wright brothers. They, they, they good workers. They good tag team. Uh, they, they were inventors. Uh, not, not wrestling related. Pioneers of the, of the business. I appreciate that. Yeah, sure. All right, I'll check out their work on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm sure there's lots of video footage of the two of them working the the, the Carolina territories. So you just you just search right for it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So uh, what can you tell me? You did you book this here tag tag revolution three? You booked this shit. Uh, that I I helped. Yeah, I was I was part of the committee. We had a committee, much like a the committee. old uh, NWA. Wow. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's impressive. Okay. So uh, what was your inspiration for this uh? Uh, a tornado fella. What was what was your inspiration to give him the belt? Uh, the champion wanted to. That that's all. That's all we need. Just, you know, someone tells me I'm bored. I don't want the belt anymore. Cool. Drop it to whoever. Guys get bored holding your belts. Yeah, all the time. All the time. Why? Um, I think there's just a. Uh, it's, it's a lot. You gotta you gotta you gotta have these matches. Uh, seems unnecessary to hold the belt in, in the hobby that we have. Wait, whole, it's a, whole thing's what kinda, do you mean hobby? Well, you know, ba- backyard wrestling is a hobby. We're just we're, we were just kids who who got together and 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 had matches once a month in our friend's backyard. You know. But so, what's that boat there for? That's not like the grand prize or something. No, we that would have been a, a great idea. That boat was just for uh, for fishing. For they used it to go fishing. Oh, so who who was the fisher giving? Was he uh, not on the show? 
He wasn't. He wasn't on the roster. That was just the guy who who lived in the in, in an apartment next door. Oh, so y'all was, like y'all like really live in a backyard? Yeah, in the house that the yard belongs to. Oh, yeah. okay. But all you guys live there, or how's this work? Is this somebody's we, house? It's somebody's house. We would just drive there once a month, had shows, planned out some matches, uh, you know, book some angles, um, uh, watch some shows. You know, it's just, just 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 kids being kids, really. Uh, oh. Or or in our case, the, the mid twenties men being mid twenties men, I guess. Oh, okay. So, uh, you know, I still probably got a couple matches left in me. I'm, I've been blacklisted from several feds on the indies, but. Uh, would you guys be willing to, I would like to get into it. I would like to, I would never get bored as champion. I would like to get in there, mix it up, hit some suplexes, some hip tosses. Uh, I mean, well, you know, the fact that you've been blacklisted gives me pause, but you can't be any worse than Crazy Pete. And he was champion for a long time. I, I'd love to extend the invitation, but but unfortunately we don't, uh, we don't, we don't wrestle anymore. We haven't in uh, two years. Why'd you hang up your boots? Did you lose uh, a, a Lucha de Apuestas match? Uh, d- nope. Very, very white. No Lucha de Apuestas here. Oh, okay, good, good. I mean, not um, good. I mean, you know, to each their own, but not, not my cup of tea. Uh, no. Um, g- Crazy Pete's mom said we couldn't wrestle there anymore. Oh man, she sounds crazier than Crazy Pete. Yeah, it was, it was rough. Uh, you know, when you lose a lose a venue, that with it goes the goes the show. So. You know, we just, we just, we just couldn't, we couldn't do it anymore. It was, it was over. So we, we hung it up two years ago. We haven't looked back since, really. Oh, so uh, what would it take to get you guys to tour the country, barnstorm it, run birthday parties, funerals, bachelor parties, bachelorette well, parties? I mean, I, I. I am I am getting married uh, in in October. Oh, so congratulations! I suppose, congratulations! Thank you. So I suppose uh, I mean we could theoretically work my bachelor party, but I mean uh, we don't we don't have money. We're not a touring institution, um, uh, but I, I guess it's not out of the realm of possibility. I, if I were you, I would put on a show, either at your bachelor party or at your wedding, depending on the venue. I mean, you know what? You've already got a, a, a venue for your wedding. Why don't you just run it there? I don't think uh, Pope Francis would approve of a wrestling contest at a at a Catholic wedding. I don't know. He seems pretty open minded in a lot of his policies. Yeah, this is true. This is true. But I think there's a hard line drawn on backyard wrestling. Okay, so by the Catholics. All right. Let's, uh, you know, if we if we could find a, a place. I I would do it at the bachelor party. I, I can't rule that. I mean, you have any leads on backyards? For I know you're a cop. I mean, I can I could do some I could do some research. I could uh you know dig up some old uh, uh you know foreclosures. I think that's something that the police force deals with. I'm not entirely sure. I just sort of do whatever I feel is right because that's why I have a badge and a gun. Even that's a little concerning. Even if you see. Like a like a promising property on a drug bust or something, you know. Just shoot me the address. We can we can make something happen. I'll I'll set it aside. You know, being on this uh, podcast, I do have some some questions pouring in from some. I guess I guess some backyard wrestling fans do listen to this podcast. Um, so I'm gonna rattle off some questions for you. Maybe you have some answers. I don't sure, know. Sure, sure. Uh, first thing first, is the Super Show dead? That's what uh, that comes in from. Uh, uh, can't read what that name says so i just just ignore it i yes <laughs> unequivocally they died it died they've tried to bring it back little to no success oh so uh how do you suggest you remedy this situation at a at a, at a show of your uh magnitude i mean yeah I, I, maybe there's an inroads if this bachelor party thing goes off maybe we can we can revitalize it you know a uh, lot a lot of a lot of chatter in the community guys talking about these nostalgia, these memories they have, sharing stories, uh, kind of like shoot interviews, except on uh, social media. Uh, a lot of that going on. So, so maybe, maybe, maybe there's a chance that something like this could work. I think what you need to do is you need to get everybody together. Yeah. You need, you need to tell them, shut the fuck up, yeah. come hang out, sure. wrestle a little bit, get yeah. drunk, 
get yeah. high, and then uh, I don't know, go home. And you're and you're saying we do that and we do it at my bachelor party. Yeah, get fucked up. Fucking throw some hammer locks, get hammered. Fuck it. And, and you'd come? Hell yeah. I'd be the master of uh, ceremonies. All right. All right. Let's hear it. Let me, give, give me a second here. Well, let's, let's take a look, right? Let's take a look at the, the old calendar. I, so this, this old super show called the New York Extravaganza used to happen every year in June in Cooperstown, New York. You ever work any shows in Cooperstown, New York? One time. I don't want to talk about it. I actually don't think I can talk about it. Did you assault a little leaguer? Um, no. All right. No. I'll stop my line of questioning there. Well, mid-June. Not technically, at least. Ooh, all right. June 15th to 17th, I'm, I'm free. Uh... Do we do it then? Say that again. You said June 15th to June June 17th. 17th. Three-day window. (sighs) Think of it like a a WrestleMania weekend. Action-packed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, You should should make every day special so it's not just a bunch of multi-man matches to accommodate a whole bunch of different individuals who came. Uh, no no promises. I'd, I'd like people to show up, so the oh, invite's okay. going to be so, fairly So, yeah, open. everybody come through. Yeah, multi-man matches for everyone. Yeah, a couple guys not invited. Um, oh, okay, who? RJ Blaze, not invited. I don't know hey, if you know him. Uh, is that the kid in the video right here? He is in the video, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he looks like he don't listen. Like, if, oh. I, if I had a wrestling school... And I went on to another famous professional wrestler's podcast, mm-hmm. and he asked me who my best student was. I would most certainly not say it was him. Very accurate description of yeah. that guy. I, He's I was, got a tattoo of the Blink-182 rabbit. I don't know if you know what that is. No. And it's holding the WWE Championship belt. This sounds um, like you're ribbing me. It's it's a real... I think it's on his calf. It's rough. He's not invited. Um couple other guys i don't know if i'll invite uh there's this guy named killer k i don't know where i stand on having a murderer on my show and it's right there in his name so we'll have to make some decisions about the roster but i think you, you know what i i think we can make some calls we can get a venue that's enough notice june 15th to june 17th in the great state of connecticut right down the road from WWE headquarters. Is uh, Vince? If will Vince come and watch and scout? I'll he invite send, him. Does he send Jerry? I'll invite him. The Briscoes uh, and and the Pritchard. I hope they're all there. Okay, Pritchard cool. Get us on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. I uh, could I could probably pull a string or two. But yeah, I, Suplex Up. I have to say, you've inspired me. Yeah, uh, that's uh, that's what I do. I'm an inspiration to the kids. To except, have this except show. when they accidentally get hit with a chair that I didn't mean to throw. I'm going to leave that right there. We can we can loop back to that topic later because I have a lot of questions, but you probably can't answer them on air. But let, let's just say it right here. You heard it here first on uh, that very long podcast title that you said at the start of the show, June 15th to June 17th. Join us in Connecticut on a base, not a ring. And I'm not apologizing for that fact. At a... Uh, the oh, bachelor- so we're going to wrestle on the mats. On the mats. Oh, okay, at, cool, at the, cool. At the Bachelor Beatdown. Bachelor Beat Beatdown. There. I like it. That's, that's yeah. a good show name. I like it. All right, well, this was supposed to be a 45 and a half minute podcast episode. I'm so excited about being on a backyard wrestling show. I'm going to get back in the gym for the first time in maybe 16 years. So, ladies and gentlemen, Suplex Cop signing out on the Behind the Bars, Good Behavior, Parole Marathon of Tron with Andrew... Flying right. We'll see you on June 15th, June 16th, and June 17th, 2018. Oh, I like how that works. 6, 15, 16, 17, and it's in the 18th year of the 2000s. It's almost like we planned it that way. It's perfect. Anyway, I forgot to mention, you get a free Lisa pillow with your purchase of your Lisa mattress. Also, it is March mattress, so go get yourself a new mattress. $200 off.